All right, welcome back to Spec Play. Pillars of Eternity. Um, we're gonna continue on with Odell as he ventures forth on his quest to gain loot and money. All right, so let's go back to camp. Last episode, we saw one of the one of the camp guys get uh, die with the, an arrow in his back, and we killed these assailants. Okay. So it's a three versus two fight. So I'm gonna actually attack you. What you need? Right there. You know how to survive for a minute. And I'm gonna blind you. And attack you. You do good. You're good, you're good. Okay, now I'm gonna come and attack this guy. You're alright, you're alright, you're alright. I'm really not sure if she's alright or not. Okay, we'll knock you down. I'm gonna get Odell attacked from the back. Okay, everything. Everything worked out. Not sure if that was good or not, but everything worked out. We're gonna loot all this stuff. We'll take it all back. Sure. Uh, loot this. Alright, Odell. Go look at your inventory. I'll actually put this on as a second weapon just in case. I'll uh, put this on you. You got medium armor, uh, a hatchet. 11, 16 slash damage. Okay, so it's that pretty much the same thing. Alright. Um, character. So, uh, we can dif disarm difficulty tree traps, pick. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, do we have. Any kind sneak attack, second wind, gun switch, blinding strike, minor three. All right. Hey there. Let's go. Okay. This way. We'll go this way. All right. So I'm gonna play very roguish on this playthrough. By Fatten Leader. All around you lie the massacred remains of other travelers, peppered with arrows and knife hilts. Splayed along bug eyed, bug eyed and filthy. Kaliska puts the back of her left hand to her mouth as if it was to ward away some poisonous vapor. Okay, so it's pretty gross. A handful of dark figures stands above the fallen, treading on limbs, backs, and heads, jerking their axes from their bodies as if it was half split logs. One of them, towering and severe with thick beard, tasseled with knots, holds a wet blade. At the neck of a young man, you recognize as Hilton, the last of your caravan left standing. Latfathian leader, lay down your arms, trespasser. Do not forfeit this man's life, or a fight you will lose. Hey, okay, we're we're gonna play rogi, so okay. Let's see what we can. I have no lore. You will try to kill us either way. Why make it easy? The man gives a slight sideways nod of his head, perhaps acknowledging the stupidness of your response. Many things may happen. The only one you can be sure of is that you will hold your weapons. I will drain. That if you hold your weapons, I will drain his blood upon the ground. So I say again, lay down your arms. At the might, I'm gonna have the perception check here. Uh, your courage is a mask. None of you has yet slain a true warrior. We have killed many trespassers like you. The kills are sloppy. The wounds of these people are inefficient and off target. This is the work of untested men accustomed to carelessness. The man bares his teeth. He looks at Hailed and helpless, his eyes shut, at least for the killing blow. The man spits. We'll see your courage as a mask. He shoves Hayden towards you. As he does, the man rakes his blade against Hayden's torso. Hayden screams and stumbles forward, a wide gash in his clothing, beginning to bloom crimson. The man sets his feet to gauge you. Okay. Go. Let's get you up front. It's me. Just circle back. How can I help? That's the, the leader right there. Okay, so he's knocked down. So what we're gonna get you to do is attack him. Hmm? Blind strike. Okay, I'm gonna come behind. Everybody's on him. Not good. Mm hmm. He won't last long if he's like this. 
We're gonna go after the leader. And the leader's down. I guess he really wasn't so strong after all. My dude just doing a lot of damage. I brought that blast on. Alright. You, your enemy lies spine on the floor underground, unable to rise. His companions now move silent among the other dead. His breath comes into a wheezing, fitful gasp. He looks not at you, but at the sky above you. Forgive us. Barely audible beneath his choked sighs, a whisper of wind stirs in the air. At this, the man's eyes roll back as he closes him. Good. Good. The gods are just. A queer smile crosses his face. I am ready. Did he, like, sacrifice himself? Uh, the wind begins to swell, whipping around a camp, electric and volatile, upending pots and rattling tents like an angry spirit. You can feel it begin to sleep, seep between it beneath your skin, where it pierces you and feels though it's rendering you apart from within. Seated against a wagon wheel, he admits the howling maelstrom, slashed across the chest and bow. Odemo's body stirs, and with great effort, he raises his sagging head, his eyes barely open, he looks directly at you. Get inside! Run! Okay, we're running. Purple fire. Tornado. This is not good. Not good. Straining against the gale that threatens to pull you off your feet with every step, you set your hands in, in the worn folds of weathered rock, instead by pulling yourself up the precipice. With a last burst of energy before your arms give out, you swing yourself up to the ledge. Hayden trails behind, slowed by injury and delayed by hesitation. As he nears the face of the rocks, one of the fallen attackers, who had been feigning death, lunges for Hayden and topples him to the, ground, to the rocky ground. Restrained, Hayden lashes out against his fatigued assailant, but he struggles to break hold. They are close to you, despite the wind from, from your position. If you were to throw your weapon at the attacker, you would give a good chance of hitting the mark. Throw a weapon? The aim is true. The hit jars Hayden loose. Lurching to his feet, Hayden clambers up the base of the rocks as he nears the top. However, the wind's flares pulling him sideways and tearing one of his hands free. But diving out onto the harbor. Oh, look at this. Hands outstretched, touching hands. Manage to catch him, catch hold of it, securing his other hand. You pull within with your waning strength, and it feels though your arms will be jerked from their sockets. They hold just long enough for Hayden to set his feet and join you on the trembling ledge. There is a deep resonance to the swelling wind now. You feel it in the rocks beneath your feet and inside the, cav the cavity of your own chest, as though it would shake the marrow from your bones. Each new gust menaces the old stones before you. Loosening connections, unsettling balances as you dart beneath the old archway. archway. The entire portal begins to fall beneath its own weight. Wow. Made it in. <coughs> hey. Was that? A Beowick. Had to be. Then we're lucky to be alive. And we're the only ones. We can't stay here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way, anyway. Let's get further inside. Can you walk? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Work our way up here. You're in front. That should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. Windstorm of kind. They only get in air glanfat. Not too many people live through them, so it's hard to know what's true. The Glanfathian word is beowak. Beowak. To them, it's the gods way of reaping the souls of the land that couldn't find their way out. But they'll take a living soul as soon as they did one. Still got yours. Who attacked us? Lanfathians. Those be the hut dwellers Odemo warned you about. Look to be fangs of Galloway, with the torches at a lot. They go ruin to ruin, looking for fights with colonists. Poor Odemo. 
think he half expected this. Once we lost the main road. The Glamfathians say we trespassed in the ruins. I don't believe that. Odema would never allow it. But as much as the Fangs are hotheads, Glamfathians don't attack without being provoked. Either way, they saw something and got the wrong idea. Or glances down to the passage beyond. Or there's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. So there's looters in here as well? Well. Uh, what about everyone else in our caravan? Liska's lips pressed tight together. Her chin rumples. Her voice is faint. The wheels got hold of them now. She looks up. God's grant him better luck in her next lives. Okay. You don't seem upset about this. Liska looks you in the eye. A volatile current running beneath her voice. Maybe you just don't know me enough to know what upset looks like. Maybe I've seen worse too. Seen worse and kept on walking. Because there's nothing else to be done. Because there's other people you care about who still need you. Let's get going. Heathen takes a step forward. His knee buckles and before can catch him. Stumbles to the ground, his cheeks striking time worm, time worm cobbles. On unsteady legs, he claws his way up to the wall, back to his feet, but his stance is shaky, like a sailor walking off a land at after Thomas Sea. Listen, my dude, I got a strange sickness too. Could, could we maybe stay here and rest a few hours? I've lost some blood. It seems quiet off to the left. There might be a place to rest there. I hate to say this, but we can't afford to stay put. Those Glondfathoms were riled about something. Could be we got company in here. Looters will be armed and ready to kill, and there's probably a lot of them. We can't be caught sleeping in their beds. Please, I just need to lie down for a while. Then we can move as fast as you want. Maybe you didn't hear me. We are gonna die in here if we don't get moving and get this place figured out before the looters come back. We've either gotta find the exit or a damn good place to hide. Pick it up, buddy. Let's just right. We had to press on. We don't know what we're up against. I, I'll do my best. You better. Going on here to the left. So they go right. Was here. See if they left anything useful behind. Uh, this is Quiet. sneak mode. We're trapped. Alright, so we got some camping supplies and a mace and a hammer and chisel. Small shield, torch. Alright, a little bit of stuff. Go right here. This dude was. A trembling, sickly creature emerged from the dark, crushing his spear. Now the elbow was in thin ribs. Show true its scaly flesh. You reckon on as a as thou trip. It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragged sighs. Tear you to pieces, lizard. Oh, it launches me. That was a wrong choice. Alright, let's go. Lock it down. Come from behind. Come from behind. Back attack. Back attack. Shit. Sure. 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 some high damage. What's a garden? Lockpicks. It had lockpicks. Get to mine, the main guy. Look at this dude with five lockpicks. They're mine. Thank you, thank you. Wait, do you hear that? Nope. What you need? This brilliant blue eye gem looks like it's been sculpted to look like an eye. Alright. Powder journal. This small folio is torn in several places, and blood has soaked through, soaked in several other sheets. One latter entry is still eligible. Can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice, and I've got my hands on a genuine. I don't know how to say it. Weapon artifact. The fellow who had it said it was pretty nothing, as far as he's concerned. He's not willing to go digging in some ruins, but if he's right about this gem leading to a hidden treasure, that's worth sneaking past a few painted elves. I'll head to Clint Liss in the morning. Then it's just a matter of finding relief, the disrelief he was talking about. Okay, get that. 
them here. Guess we won't put it in there. Yeah. Go this way. Okay, the old battle. Gonna attack you. Go around the back of you. Nice job. We'll also blind you. We'll get here and come up here and attack you as well. Wow, 15. Mm -hmm. I go with Odell. Odell's looking pretty, pretty legit here. That looks weak. Could be a shortcut. A crack runs along this wall from this floor to ceiling. A light gust of air passes through it. I'm not going to use that there now. I'm just going to push the wall. She seems strong. Despite the damage, the stone looks heavy and solid. Let's send her. Alicia pushes with all of might, and a crack begins to spray. Or, Finally, the ancient masonry gives away. The wall crashes down, revealing a circular room ahead. Okay, we'll go in here. I, I could scout ahead. You can shut up. You fight him. Oh, we got two. All right. Well, you blind attack him. You come around, go around the backside. Then you attack from. He did. There you go. Full blind attack you. Oh, we're doing some big damages. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Keep it going. Feels like there's a draft coming through that wall. Don't hear any sign of that storm either. Storm's over. All right, knock it, spot it down. Attack it. Everybody attack this one. Only small. There you go. Good job, everybody. Stay quiet. Do I get the fast motion to go? D. There we go. And what do we have here? What you can you on me? This is like free experience ones. All right, so and so what do many. we have here? Okay, so we'll just keep on doing this. We're gonna do all this. this is like free experience ones. Sure. Give me a real challenge. Sorry, but this guy's cocky now. There. What did I tell you? Oh, well, you can Give do me it. a real challenge. Yes. Well, she shouldn't have added you. Sure. Yeah. This. Everybody, everybody yeah. on me. Let's go down here. Those tiles look suspicious. Let's be careful. That roundish symbol. Pretty sure I saw it on one of the tiles back there. All right. Okay, so let's get you. you. Go over here and fight that guy. I would just do that, so just attack. And I'll get you. Break out of that. Sure. That one of those guys right there. Full axe. And we'll take that. Sure. See if anything else is here. A vicious slick of something dark and tire like runs down the wall. The shapes and bulges in the ooze 
suggest that something lies. Something lies beneath it, but you can't tell what. Use your water skin. Okay. You rinse the ooze away, revealing intricate relief of a man's face. The sunburst surrounding it has chipped away in places. But the details of his head, from the tight curls of hair to the ridges on his pointed ears, those are case of remarkable craftsmanship. One eye socket is empty. Hmm. We'll place that in there. That's why we picked up out that traveler. The chamber begins to rumble. Stray rocks dancing across the top floor. Finally, a large section of wall gives way. Nice. Oh, I don't just go. Oh shit. It's in slow mo when it's fighting. I I'll leave that alone. Unless. Take that. Let's get this. Oh, I got a minor cloak of protection. Property's neck, a fortitude of reflex and of will. Alright. So we'll put that on my dude. Hey, not you. Steal my cloak. There you go, you got my cloak. Good. Looking good. Yeah. Yeah, so my character is going to be all about the, uh, the getting of bobbles and no loot, he's gonna love that. But his main, main thing is. Do I still have to do anything with this? This mirror must be ancient, yet the colors are still bright and vivid. It shows a procession of. Okay, let's do that. Having withings from all the kith races Amora, Elf, Orla, and Dwarf, and Yuan. They walk among pillars similar to the cones. Spanish room. Each one trop top of the flame. There's certain order I'm supposed to do this in? We'll let him out. Not sure what I'm supposed to do there, but we'll continue on. All right, we got a little one. We'll actually get Odell to fight the little one. Get you to focus. Alright, I got you. Actually, no, don't, don't attack no one yet. There you go. I'm gonna go around and give him the blind strike. Blind strike. We'll also give him that. Hey there. He's completely flanked. Nice. Here we go. Sure. Push this. A rapier. All right, let's go towards. Be taken prisoner and held in your straw. Older robed man. Nice description. Four figures stand before an otherworldly apparatus, an ancient structure of chiseled edra and metallic veins, ominous and looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in their midst in what appears to be a human body, a colorless stone, colorless as a stone or ash, the other figure gaze upon you it in what might be contemplation. From your vantage point, you can you are well obscured from their view. The figure closest to the machine stands out among them, a thick gray beard, frames a face otherwise hidden beneath a metallic mask. His faded robes are embroidered with a runic language, unlike anything you've ever seen, and he wears a strange black headdress. Two petitions that jut out like the wings of some malevolent creature. Oathbinder, bear witness and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, <clears throat> queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. 
let his death by the teeth be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the sacrifice you. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Who is this queen that was? Step forth and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. Okay. There's three guys there. One guy's already was like burned. Oh, his soul is just coming right out of him. Crazy machine just burned souls. Alright, the souls are gone. We got more combat. Alright, we'll put a cut there. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on the channel. Helps out a great deal. Thank you.